I don't know if you can see that. There's one just bow waved off a spot. It's like murk right up. So gonna pick it out somewhere there. Fish has gone off that way. Definitely about here, definitely. What I'm doing here is um, cramming some 20 millers up because if I put them out and they hit the water they're going to make too much noise and plus the added advantage with doing this it's not just the noise you get like instant like a tract in the water it releases all its goodies so what I'm doing is just going to bait halfway across here where that dark line is there put a load of bait along here but just crumb there's a fish at least one just round the corner here feeding here so what I'll do is just put it in slightly deeper water away from it as they're going to go in and out it's only it's not even four foot see how look murky it is here but like I said there was a load of swans here a minute ago so they've probably done some of this but there's definitely carp here only thing when you do this, because it's a park lake, you get the bloody birds coming in. But at least they won't be able to see anything because it's murky. It's a happy day, so it's in. I'll probably go and get a rod, and get that ready, and then I might come. So it's ready for like uh, stalking, then I might, if I decide to come up, it's there ready. You always carry a few baits with you. And bait little areas up, traps ready. You can watch, monitor, and then take the chance. Keep baits going in on certain areas. Prepping an area, big edge. Get them visiting it. Just a few baits every now and then. Pellets, corn, boilies, crumb, hemp. Party blend, maize, tigers, heavy or fancy. Right, I'm gonna sit and watch now for a little while. Morning. Moved into a new spot after that stalking, but they just like legged it straight away. Found them on the left of this island, really tight, and had a 23-12 mirror I had before last night and then I've just had a another one called um, Bubba Gump it's in the retainer I'm just sorting my bits out haven't even got it out yet I just put it straight in the retainer from the, the net I hooked it bang in there wait a minute getting photographed sorted so that's two on a move I think we're going to call that Jim's Island. I've had quite a few from there this year. Happy days. Long running chod. 20 mil sticky baits krill out there. I've done about two and a half kilo now. Right, he's had a bit of a rest. I'll well, not fill up about 20 minutes in the retainer. Um, weighs 28 pounds. It's a lively one as well. Here you go. Oh, a corker. Uncle Jim's still on it, still catching. And doing the book. Happy days. That's it, that'll do Phil. Camera now. Whoa, she's live. That's on a long running chod. A messed up creel pop up. Fished it about 90 yards towards a right tight to a corner of an island. Happy days. Have a look at them, Phil. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
turn around. So good. Here's the other side. We'll get back. Happy days. Turn it on and off, Phil. That's it. So I'm off to the graphic designers tomorrow to finalise the book. Oh, it's been a stressful headache, this book, but there you go. You keep going, Phil. Don't worry about me, mate. Got to get greenery in it there. Probably going to stay at a hotel tonight, not fish. But there you go, early start, nine o'clock, off to Daventry. Right, one more, and we'll get it back. Turn the red off, mate. Oi, oi. Nearly back at um, Charney, at the brightest morning. We're now just about to hit another, looks like Indian summer. Not sure what to expect, but after last week's um, couple of fish, I decided uh, to do what I do best. Well, occasionally fill it in. So I put 20, 20 kilo of. Um, Sticky baits of krill out there. I'm not telling everyone to do 20 kilo, but baiting up regular. Um, and you can mix it in with like pellets, particles, etc. etc. And I'd put in a, a 15 kilo mixed particle, like aniseed. So they've now had, what did I leave? I left. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right back on the fourth day. I had a little text from Phil within, uh, let's say, three or four hours. Four, four fish had gone over the area, so that wouldn't have lasted long. So hopefully, even though the weather's gone high pressure, um, I mean, I've got a shallow spot there near an island. But, once it all cools down, late evening, um, night through the night, early morning, I've got a chance of a bite. So I've just done the, what was it, 180 odd mile journey, got up at half four. So I've got to get my rods out ASAP, and uh, I've got a couple of magazine features to do for. Um, The magazine features to do for DHP, total carp and advanced carp. So let's all go. Uh, another good bit of news. Finally sort the printer out. Ditch the other one. Just uh, too unprofessional for me. Um, but I've got a real good vibe with this one. Um, at least they communicate. So that's a nice one. Right, I'm at the lake now. Like I said, no one here. But yeah, like I said, um, they communicate. Got a couple of new features for the book, which is a bit different. What only normally goes oh, in leather bounds. So onwards and upwards. Uh, I'm not sure quite what I'm expecting to see here, but. We'll have to see. Um, I would have thought they'd be hanging around because like, I salted them seeds up like you don't want to know. And uh, I've uh, put the old, uh, what do you call it? I don't know if that's what I'm just sitting down there now. Shit. Um, but yeah, getting back to the book. We're down now. This is like the first few days of September. Pre-orders have gone savagely mental. Well, it's been like nice all the way through really, so that's happy days. We're going to distribute this book ourselves still. Um, all the packaging sorted. 
the storage is sorted everything's done basically I can't personally do any more I met up with um, Rich Editor Brad the graphic designer what was it Saturday I've knocked out 12 hours working on the book final touches amendments from the proofreader etc etc um, there'll always be some sort of spelling mistake or not a comma or something like that but hey ho we'll see what happens um, but I, I want to like get it so it's minimal I mean I don't know it was just like it was mental watching all that so Brad is now amending everything uh, which well yes we're now Tuesday yeah Tuesday so it should have gone Rich would have picked it up last night um, he's taking it to the proofreader because I want to get it proofread again so the attention to detail on the grammar how it's reading spelling mistakes legal stuff or whatever you know what I mean I don't know um, it's paramount so but I get it I think it's five days six days time I get it for about two days and then like some very close friends and we're gonna like run through it and just have one more check before it goes to the printers so right here's the lake so all this waffling and we want to get back to proper fishing eh? there's the lake so as you can imagine I'm just driven through the early hours to get here and I'm getting to have a look. Right. I'll see you later. There we are. That's the third one now. Sweet. Look at it going down bubbling. I don't even see it. I the sun's so bright in my eyes. Some two two there, one to the right. It's off the baited area, but maybe they've hit it. Right, I'll show you more once this sun because it's savage. Morning. That might look a bit familiar to some of you. It's the wall pack. Popped on here last week just for a night. No one here. Well, one bloke, and that was on Lake 5. It's on fish, but uh, nothing happened. But I loaded it up. That slope here just starts slipping into my mind again, you know. Sometimes. Well, a lot of the time of me, I do act on my gut instincts. Now, I got back here, it's Sunday night, um, about two hours before dark. I found him in Lake 8 and done a bit of float fishing in the edge, but nothing happened, apart from a, a few dips of the float. And he was ripping the mix, said, I've never seen you do that before. Anyway, in the, in the background there, you can see him fizzing. I was in Lake 5 and they were about. Um, but this morning I see a couple of small ones stockies and there just wasn't the fizzing going on so I walked up the side of five and six quickly and noticed some birds not them in the background because they're grebes but I noticed some ducks and I was feeding over a spot and they moved away and it's fizzing like a jacuzzi so me being me a hunter of carp I uh, quickly legged it round packed up and legged it round and I've got three rods out, all on fizzers. I've got one just next door on its own. I've got two here. And like I split the rods uh, was it on that one there. Um, it's, it's one just down the bank, so I've, I've sort of like got them close together. But because of the angle of the tree, I want to be able to get two rods on it really. And um, cast the leads as far as I could over the back. Chods of course, because it's like uh, it's weedy and very well this area isn't so weedy apart from like the far bank which you can see um, but it's really thick black horrible silt and they're rooting around so this is like oh dear was it about the 10th 9th of September and this is the sort of time fish start feeding up I ain't put no freebies out I didn't even change the hook bait so they're washed out krill of course Show you a bit of fizzing in a minute, just lightly doing it at the moment, so I've got away with it. How grebe out there teaching it's like young out of blooming, uh, catch them. 
Got one to the left here as well. That's on some fish and I'll have a quick look. Nothing out there at the moment. They were just going along that weed line on the far bank. Sort of got it right about there. Got a nice drop down as well. About 12, 13 foot. Fizzing's definitely stopped along there at the moment. I'm expecting a bite any minute. Now we're getting the rigs in and then being them in here a bit spooky and a chance of a bite I thought it best just to put singles out with no freebies because they're obviously feeding I mean I could fire some crumb out on the closing rods but I've definitely got away with it they keep coming back and having the fizz up So uh, this is it, there's no more I can do at the moment, I'm on them, just waiting for the bite. Hopefully, and it might be one of the ones I wanted. Anyway, that blooming screen's missing up again and I'm going to sort that mother out. Look, they're still on my spot. There they are. Bingo! Right into a jacuzzi now, look at that. 